<laughs> just like where I got my start and where you got your start. Um, thanks for having me tonight. I just want to spend a little bit of time just telling you a little bit about my um, background and um, what it's taken for me to be successful in the automotive industry, which is, <sighs> y'all heard that sigh? <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of tough right now. Uh, but actually, you know, my company is, is Malcolm Cunningham Companies. We own, uh, on the 15th of this month, we will have four franchises uh, and three dealerships. And we've accomplished that over the last 24 months, which in my opinion is doing a great job. Got a lot of accolades and a lot of awards for that. But let me just tell you a little story. One story that um, sticks out in my mind. Well, first, we need a little history of my background. Uh, I started out in the car business in 1990, selling cars at Stone Mountain Ford, um, which was a dealership that was in a predominantly white area at the time, which a lot of people don't, re don't remember that. I'm quite sure Shell would remember that on the store on Memorial Drive, but Memorial Drive, uh, when I started over there, was pretty much just a white area. Um, when I left there in 2005, it was completely black. All the um, Caucasian people had left the area, but the store was still thriving, business was still well, and I was what I would consider very successful. I started out selling cars there in 1990, I got my first promotion in 1993, where I was promoted to a finance manager. Uh, 1995, I was promoted to a new car leasing manager. 1997, I was promoted to assistant used car manager. 1998, I was promoted to a used car manager. 2001, I was promoted to general sales manager. And 2003, I was promoted to general manager of the store. Um, at that time, we were doing about $60 million a year in sales, and we were managing about $25 million in assets. Um, all of these promotions came by one person, a um, gentleman by the name of Bill Hughesby, who just, for whatever reason, took a liking to me um, and brought me through my career. I was fortunate enough to have a couple of people at Ford Motor Company that saw something in me, liked what I was doing, like my enthusiasm, like basically my work ethics. Um, at that point in 2004, I was approached by Ford Motor Company and asked to get into their minority dealer development program, which is how I was able to open up my dealership. Um, it's kind of a funny story right here. This is what I'm going to tell you about. After graduating from high school, Went in there to buy a car. I didn't have um, the well, not support, but I didn't have the knowledge that I have today, and I didn't have you know people taking care of me, looking out for my best interest at the time. Um, had went to college and left school. I didn't finish school. I didn't finish college. I was two years in, um, but I left college, came back home, and went up to Carry Paul Ford to buy a deal to buy a car. Went in. Did the deal, went in, you know, drove the car, did the paperwork, did the test drive and everything. Came back to the, to the finance manager. The finance manager said what to me? After me being on my own for two years in Nashville, Tennessee, at Tennessee State, what did he say? Can't help you. Your credit's bad. Can't help you, your credit's bad. Okay? Me being the guy I was, left my head down, left on out of there quick. Uh, quick. This is the good part about the story. What, five, ten, 15 years later, I didn't come back to buy another car I cared about for. I came back and bought a dealership. I want to talk to you guys about staying the course. Um, over these past 24 months, some things that I've been challenged with, as Ron talked about being challenged and still just staying your course, some of the things that I've been challenged with um, being a franchise via Ford Motor Company, um, my sales have been just through the roof. Business is good. Business consistently being good. We're setting records in the store. I had the opportunity eight months ago to um, buy another franchise, which was a Mazda franchise. Um, even though our sales are where they are and business is what it is, you know, I've still got to go and do what everybody else in has to do, which is find financing. All right? Um, stay in the course. The finance source that Mazda recommends for me is 
Ford Motor Company, Ford Motor Credit. I've got a great relationship with Ford Motor Credit. Business is going well. Ford Motor Credit is doing anything I ask them to do. Uh, fill out applications, uh, go through all the background checks again, even though Ford Motor Company and Ford Motor Credit has all my information and everything. Stay in the course. What does Ford Motor Company do again? <laughs> Deny me. <laughs> I'm a dealer at Ford Motor Company in the top five, in the top five, as a matter of fact, I'm one of the top five dealers here in Metro Atlanta out of 30 dealers. One of the top five dealers out of 30 dealers. Ford Motor Company denies me for a loan to buy this Mazda dealership. Stand the course. Most people would give up at this point. You know, you got a great business. You're doing $50 million a year in sales. You're netting over 5% return on sales, which is unbelievable, unheard of. You're netting over five percent return sale, and your capital, your capital rejects you for your next business. What we all strive to do is grow our business, correct? When you get one, you work hard at it, you stay the course, you do what you're supposed to do, and you work to get your next. And then you work to get your next. And you continue to try and grow your organization. Staying the course is what I did. I did it when I went in that dealership to buy a car and came back and bought the dealership. I did it again this time when I wanted to buy this Mazda dealership. I didn't give up right there. What did I do? I went to another source. Guess what? Second source. Rejected. Rejected. Went to another source. Starting to get a little discouraging, right? Rejected. I'm glad to say and proud to say that this Monday I'll be closing on Malcolm, excuse me, it's not Malcolm Cunningham, Electric City Ford Mazda in Anderson, South Carolina. Got that deal. I'm also proud to say that on November 15th, I'll be closing on three and a half acres of Stonecrest Mall, and on November, November 16th, we'll have tractors moving dirt from Malcolm Cunningham Mazda. Stay in the course. <laughs> if I can give any advice or anything to anybody in this room, the one thing I'm going to do is just say, if you want to do something, just stay the course. Don't give up. You know, There's always a way around any obstacle that's put in front of you. There's always around any roadblock. Just stay the course. I've been successful by doing it. We'll be 2008. My dealerships and other companies that we have will gross over $100 million in sales. Um, business is good. You know, we are, um, we'll be there again. We're a top five company. At four, we're going to come down to 30 dealerships in Metro Atlanta. Again, we 24 months in, borrowed $10 million from Ford Motor Company to buy this Ford store. This December, we're buying out the Ford store. You know, everything that I've set a goal to do, everything I've wanted to accomplish, has been accomplished by just basically just staying the course, not saying no, not listening to no for an answer, never listening to no for an answer, just always consistently just staying the course and just wanting to get better, knowing that there's always a way around an obstacle. If I can give any word of advice to anybody in here about any franchise, any franchise businesses, or any entrepreneurs in this business, you know, there's always going to be roadblocks. You're always going to have somebody tell you, no, I'm in the car business, trust me, I know. <laughs> I hear it all day long. Um, but the one thing that, if I can give any word of advice to anybody in here, and I'm trying to be real short because I know it's getting late, just stay the course, all right? It's, been, it's helped me be successful, and it's without a doubt what I would suggest for anybody here. Right. Thanks, guys. Game Face Media, Atlanta's premier photography and video paparazzi. Let us document your road to success. From studio to stage to guest appearances. Contact us today for a limited time offer using the code at the bottom of the screen. Visit GameFace.com. That's G-A-M-F-A-C-E dot com. Or call 678-301-8731.